Alright guys, and welcome back to more Tales of Exilia 2. We just got done completing Jew's story with Celsius request, and we also started up Elise's story, where, where we had to pretty much go rescue Chancellor Marcia's and her company. And we are about to be on our way back to talk to Marcia. And before we do that, now we gotta fight this guy. I was trying to get that damn sparkly. It doesn't matter, they're dead. Yeah, you're done. Look at that, 14 seconds. <laughs> that couldn't have been done without music at this point, like literally. So now we're about to be on our way to talk to Marcia. Or did she already leave? Really? What is this nonsense? I still can't use the world map? Do it fast travel? Oh, here you we go. You managed to trounce the terrorists. Elise, was it? Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine, Madam Chancellor. That's a relief. But I, uh, I wanted to know. Madam Chancellor. Dispose of the surviving terrorists. At once, ma'am. Dispose? What do you mean by dispose? A matter of Olympian justice, child. None of your concern. Damn. Oh, we're concerned. They were only trying to save their friends. <sighs> Chancellor Marcia, the terrorists surrendered of their own accord. I would think that merits leniency. Let's be clear. Is this an official request from the Prime Minister of Riza Maxia? Because such a request would certainly raise serious diplomatic issues. D no, Madam Chancellor. That was not my intent. Laws exist for a reason. Ignore one, and we risk a descent into chaos. The government of Olympias does not show leniency to terrorists. We don't negotiate with terrorists, see? This, see? 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 But you're the Chancellor! You can do whatever you want! They're pretty much the United States, and Rize Maxia is Japan. Alright. It is precisely because I'm the Chancellor that I must ensure justice is served. This is your cue to say something, Beardo! Unfortunately, showing leniency to terrorists often only leads to more acts of terror. History has shown this to be true. But I made a promise to the Exodus members. A childish decision. <sighs> Chancellor, we're ready. All this excitement has pushed us way behind schedule. We must be going. This is horrible! How can you be so cold-hearted? Why? Why wouldn't she listen to me? I understand how you feel. Was I wrong? Oh, my head's all fuzzy. <sighs> Luna, I thought we were friends. <laughs> Luger knows how you feel. Trust me, girl. Luger knows how you feels. <laughs> Unrequited sentiment, man. All right, so we got Exilia outfit number two, basically a recolored skin of her freaking first Exilia outfit, right? So we're not even too hyped about getting that outfit. Now what we need to do is pretty much be on our way. What does being a child or an adult have to do with friendship? I don't get Luna at all. Hmm. Maybe that was her uh, kid's cell phone. Maybe that was her kid's cell phone. Wouldn't that be hilarious? But anyway. Let us see. There's one more quest we need to do. And it's that Triglyph. And I can only assume it's for one of the characters we haven't been doing yet. Or lately. And it has to be not Alvin's because he, he's already on chapter 4. I would have to assume it's Gaius again. Shut up, man. I don't want no damn mutton. Stop screaming about your nasty ass, funky ass, musty ass, fresh mutton. Like, this guy, I don't want your mutton. 
I don't want your mutton man, the mutton man. Please stop with the mutton man. Please. Guys again, he's in his boss outfit too. Yeah, I'm a boss. See this outfit? I'm a boss. I'm guys. The sights of Rize Maxia because I'm a boss. I'm glad you dropped by. Yeah, I'm glad because I'm a boss. Can I play too? Whoa. I saw you come in here, and I just hate being left out. You made it! Perfect timing! What are you all doing here? Are you saying we're not welcome? Only Erston is good enough to join your little club? Whatever. Okay then, everyone ready? I got a big announcement. We're all going on a trip to Riza Maxia! Really? What? I've always wanted to see Fenmont. Count me out. What? Because everybody will know he's, got, he's, he's the king, right? That's why he doesn't want to go. Come now. <laughs> no point in refusing when he gets like this. He'll break. It'll happen. Yes, but... Fenmont... What, is Fenmont lame or something? Erston's not a fan of crowds. Isn't that right? Why are you doing this? <laughs> well, what about that something or other Deepwood, then? The Sapstrap Deepwood? Yeah, that place. I saw it in the brochure. It's like one gigantic forest. And we don't exactly have one here in Olympias. <laughs> the brochure said it's a great place to escape the bustle. Sounds right up your alley. The Sapstrath Deepwood. Great, it's agreed. Hey, I haven't agreed to anything. You cool with that, Luger? It's cool with me. <laughs> then let's get moving. <laughs> cool with me, dog. Alright, we got Muse, Elise, Gaius, and Luger. Man, the only person we haven't really been playing with too much is Alvin. Alvin's been getting no love, but he's like secretly, I think, one of the best characters. I just need to sit. Sit down and have a time with him. <laughs> Sit down and actually... Ooh, we got a guy's dumpling. Sit down and actually learn how to play with him. I've done it so far for almost everybody in the crew. So I might as well try to do Gaius and uh, Alvin. I didn't mean it like that, though. Head to the Sapstrat Deepwood. I go straight there, huh? So here we go. To the Sapstrat... Ah, they want me to walk there. I see what they want me to do. Let's go to the northeast region. Wow. Now this is a forest. Reza Maxia is freaking amazing! Okay, broske. This path runs straight through it, but it's not exactly a walk in the park. <laughs> we'll be fine. But, you know, we'll let you handle the monsters. <laughs> of course. So they want, they want us to go straight to the southwest section. I should just warp out and walk to the other side. Whoa. This is a real forest. Endearing guys. <laughs> Those children have become quite enamored with you. Is that so? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Music, er, Mila said the same thing. It's a fine opportunity to introduce Olympians to the highlights of Riza Maxian culture. I'm hardly an expert at that sort of promotion, but I suppose there is value in these sorts of cultural exchanges. Luger, what aspects of Riza Maxia interest you? <laughs> the ladies. The local delicacies, of course. The local delicacies. Well, they're supposed to be a very unique mushroom that grows right here in the sap. Oh deep. boy, I hope it's not the one that freaking spores up. Oh, I know. Smoke shrooms. Why don't you whip up a smoke shroom dish for us? It'll be just like camping together. If you like. However, you must commit to finishing your meal. Wasting food is wasting life, and will be punished accordingly. Article 2 of Riza Maxia's Constitution. What? You put that in the Constitution? 
<laughs> that was a joke, of course. But <laughs> it is a custom of Ajul, where I was born. Oh boy. Unlike the bountiful land around you now, the environment that surrounds Ajul is harsh and unforgiving. Rize Maxia may be rich in nature, but I suppose it's all the more dangerous for it. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, damn, I ain't eating that out of you ever. I ain't never going to no banquet with, with guys. Hell no. Hell no, man. He gonna make me eat everything. Alright, here we go. So now we need to get to the southwest section of this place. To get there, we jump down here. We also jump down over here. We climb through here. Hey there, hi there, ho there. There's a wolf there. We're gonna walk past this wolf, okay? Okay, guys, keep up with me here. I'm commentating this game very enthusiastically. So what we need to do now is head to the south wind. We gotta make a land. We gotta go, ooh, a wolf, but we're not gonna fight the wolf. We're going to encounter like the wolf! Encounter like the wolf! Here we go. Damn it! Frame rate! Frame rate, please! Well then. Then they kick me on the ground, homie. Oh my god. The frame rate is so bad. Alright, I had to get out of that, man. The frame rate was dropping. Get wrecked. <laughs> I'd let you apologize if you could still talk. Oh my goodness. Those fights would have been hell without music, dude. Hell. Hell. Wait, the they get monsters here are scary too. They get some serious boost. They get some mad boost. No, if we go that way, that will lead to a dead end pretty much. So we need to head. No, we're going the right way. We're going the right way. Go down there. That's leading to a dead end. We need to climb up somewhere, right? Ooh, I stepped on the smoke stream. <laughs> I stepped on one of those nasty ass uh, mushrooms, dude. All right, let's keep going forward. That's all we know how to do, baby. Keep moving forward. We need to get down there. And to get down there, we need to take this route. See? We jump down here. I remember this dungeon being confusing as hell when I first played it. And then again when I had to run through it earlier to get these cats that I already got off camera. So you ain't gotta worry about that guys. But we are about to, I guess, most likely fight it a large ass beast that appears out of nowhere. You know, it usually happens in these kind of situations. You're out exploring with a gang of people who don't know how to defend themselves and then you gotta defend them against Whoa, a freaking monster. A Look at this place. Why don't we take a break to sightsee? Very well. Is this a gang or what? Like, these these are supposed to be thugs, right? Then why are they like sightseeing? You know what? I can't judge thugs. I can't judge thugs. Yes! Even the cat ran after him. Hey, Urston! You don't seem quite yourself. Why not go have some fun with him? Come on! <laughs> when I was a child, they called me the Ajulian Monkey. <laughs> Ajulian Monkey. I made a game out of climbing trees to pick cherries. <laughs> I'd throw them at my sister, Carla. Oh. Wait. Notice them too? I did. Monsters, planning an ambush. 
Let's take care of them. Right around here. Yes. Here they come. Okay, so random enemy behind trees. Are you ready to get your motherfucking ass handed to you by Muse? Muse, Muse, Muse is going ham on your wolf. It's over! Leave the arts to me. Very well then. Leave the arts to me. Very well then. Don't mind. Sharing is caring. You're done. Oh yeah, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> Was this what you hoped for? Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. You're done. You're done. This dog's done. Everybody's done. We put in work. Muse. Too good. I'm telling you. She's like Magneto. Hey. Where'd they go? I don't know, but now's our chance. Where were you guys? Just attending to a little business, as Erston might say. Where'd Kyle go? What's up, Big E? Big E? Big E? Big E? We're all pretty tight now, yeah? I mean, you're pretty cool, even for an older dude. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Lighten up, Big E. Yeah, you're gonna dig this. A camera? What's that? It's a camera. You do know what a camera is, right? We all pooled our money for it. Oh, a present? <clears throat> it was Kyle's idea. Tanner helped pick it out, though. Isn't that thoughtful? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Tanner, scoot right. Perfect. Be right there. <laughs> Everybody's got shades on. Damn it! I should reload and have everybody put shades. You're part of the gang now, Biggie. <laughs> Don't you forget that. Biggie. Biggie. <laughs> Biggie with them shades. <laughs> well, we better head back soon, shall oh, we? Oh, I should have everybody with shades on. That would have been hilarious. Wait, wait. Can we make a quick stop in Marksburg? A new GHS model just came out. I gotta get my hands on one. What do you say, Big E? Come on. If you must. Oh, this damn dog attacked me. You're like, I seen what you did to my friends. We're coming for you. We're going to kill you. You say we really don't like you. Sneaking. Well done there. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Bruh. What are you doing, Muse? What are you doing? No, I'm not ready. Okay, here we go. Now we can move on to do whatever we need to do with guys, right? Head to Marksburg on your way back. We need to go there for two different reasons, actually. We pretty much need to uh, find the cat here. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna run in. I'll be back in a flash. You guys sit tight on the Olympia side, okay? Oh man, I'm dead on my feet. Let's say we grab a bite at the inn and head home when Kyle gets back. <laughs> I take it your silence means heck yeah? <laughs> Let 
you about the maximum burgers. Where's Maya when you, you need sure it? sure he's taking his time. How long is Kyle gonna keep us waiting here? <sighs> Don't pout. You're the one who said it was okay. I could have told you this would happen. Maybe we should have gone with him. Knowing Kyle, I should have anticipated this. I'm sick of hanging around. I'll go get him. What's that about? They said something about a soldier getting killed. What's going on? Oh boy. Jeez, took you long enough. Where have you been? Kyle? <sighs> What's wrong? N nothing. I'm fine. Sorry I'm late. Let's go. You killed somebody. Don Gan Rumpa Kyle edition. They said someone murdered a Rizamaxian soldier. Apparently the killer's still on the loose. I heard they were looking for a young male. They think he's still hiding in the city somewhere. We've always had friction with folks from the other side here in Marksburg. But there's never been a murder, you know? If the killer turns out to be Olympian, this could turn into an international incident. Yeah, a murderer's bad enough. But that would take it to a whole nother horrible level. Someone killed a soldier? Everyone seems to be freaking out. Well, well. They asked me to come all the way to Marksburg to help with the investigation, and who do I run into? Pretty big coincidence, huh? Pretty, pretty big. Herschel. Did you need something? And look who's with him. My, but you've all gotten chummy with each other. That's none of your business. Go home. Ah, but I've only just gotten here. And seeing you lot certainly adds some credence to my working theory. Kyle, you killed that Riza Maxian soldier, didn't you? And I will see you arrested for it. <laughs> what are you talking about? You've had your fun. Stop hassling us. Huh. <laughs> oh, and I know you raised a hand to one of my men earlier. I don't have any proof, but I certainly don't intend to let that slide. <laughs> Bruh, calm down. What a creep. Let's just get the hell back to Triglef already. Kyle, it wasn't you, was it? How could you even ask me that? Even Big E's not on my side now? Tanner's right. Let's blow this joint. Hmm, this is interesting. It turned into a what murder mystery. Learn? Gaius? That guy? The king of Riza Maxia? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, Biahuya. <laughs> the size of Riza Maxia. The murder mystery continues. You thought it was over since Dog got Rumpa 2 ended? Nope. It continues in Exilia 2. Exilia 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Alright, cool. The land of Canaan appears. Let's go ahead and watch this skit, and we're pretty much going to call it a day after this skit. Not call it a day, but call it a day for this part of the video. The land of Canaan has appeared in the sky. I cannot say I anticipated that. It was there, but it wasn't. Origin must have used the power of the void to seal it away. So that's the single place among all dimensions where the cycle of reincarnation occurs. Then I guess that would make it the Prime Dimension's Divergence Catalyst. It looks like there's an embryo inside of it. Is that the Great Spirit Origin? No, that is the Soul Purification System itself. Origin should be found within it. Why does it look like a baby? That's a fine question. I suppose we'll have to ask Origin. Well, I'm just relieved that we won't be fighting it. We will. If we must. You must be joking. <laughs> Do not worry. I fully understand its significance. We will not destroy it. He's confident we could beat it. <laughs> I guess we should be thankful these two are on our side. Alright. 
So we're gonna take a quick break after we save the game, and we'll be right back with more tales of Exilia. Ilia, Ilia. 